Hello, it is so great to see you. We are kicking off something new here today together, something that I've never done before, but I'm gonna be doing on a monthly basis. And that is a monthly reset video. About a month ago, I was co-working on Zoom with my friend Kaylin, who you saw in my Paris vlog. And she told me, she was like, there's this trend on YouTube. She's like a big YouTuber, by the way. There's this trend on YouTube to do monthly reset videos. And I think it would be really great for you and your audience. So why don't you give them a try? So I did my research and I started exploring YouTube, searching monthly reset videos. And I love the concept. But what I found is that these videos are often women kind of just going on about themselves and their lives, which I think is fine because oftentimes these are these are women who are lifestyle YouTube YouTubers, so it was totally fine. But I really feel like my purpose to create content is to help you better your own, your own life. So not only do I want you to watch me and see what's possible, but I want to give you tangible tips and strategies and mindsets and tools which we're gonna talk about in a second, to help you achieve your dream life as well. And that is why I am kicking off monthly reset videos. Now my environment might look a little different today because this past week I have been spending time with my boyfriend's family around England. We were in the West Country for this week and then I'm coming to you live from my boyfriend's parents' house in the Southeast of England. So that's why the environment is a little different. And if you're thinking, wow, the lighting's not great. It's a little dark there. That is on England, honestly. There is not a ray of sunshine to be seen today and actually it's been a really beautiful week. That's why it's a little dark. That's why I'm in a different environment. Um, I'm just an American girl living her Anglophile dream across England right now. But one of my key takeaways from November, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about later, key takeaways from the month that just happened, is that I am leaving opportunities, money, impact on the table by being a perfectionist and overthinking and needing everything to be perfect. So that's why I'm just doing this a little bit messy. I'm doing this in a weird spot. I'm doing this when it's dark, when it's pixelated, when this is not going to be the most flattering light. And hopefully that's just proof to you. Maybe it's a sign to you to just do the thing, whatever it is you're putting off, whatever you're waiting for to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. So it's more important that you just start. So this is me just starting. Not only am I doing these monthly reset videos, but I created a free, really powerful tool for you. I soft launched it on TikTok a couple weeks ago, knowing that people were thinking about like the end of the month coming up and it's gotten a great response on TikTok. Lots of people asking me tons of questions about it, really great engagement on the video, and I am finally bringing it here to YouTube for you. Now the tool is a monthly reset Notion template. If you don't know what Notion is, don't worry, it's free. It's very easy to use, especially because I have made this template for you. You can create a free account and duplicate my template via the link below, and then you'll have access to it. You can write on it, change it, delete it, make it your own, but I've given you the template that I'm using. So this is what we're gonna use as the structure of the monthly reset videos every single month. I'm gonna walk you through my monthly reset answers, I guess, for the template for the month of, like the end of November, beginning of December. And it's just gonna show you examples of how to fill out this template so that you can do it yourself. And even though I said, I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers who just like drone on and on about their month with like no real value added for you, I am gonna share my answers because you'll either find it helpful or it may meet you where you're at, but it will all be in the context of hopefully getting you what you need as well. So let's jump into the monthly reset template. Again, this is linked below, so you can even pull it up right now and fill it out while you're watching this video, have this video playing in the background, or you can watch this and come back to it. The template will always be available to you. So why do a monthly reset? Great question, love to tell you all about it. You don't have to do a monthly reset. Obviously, plenty of us have gotten by far enough in life without doing a monthly reset. Honestly, if I'm just being frank, monthly resets are about the good vibes. It's about the mindset. It's about helping you refocus on what you want for the month, actually. So it's actually December 4th as I'm filming this right now. I'm a little bit behind because I was traveling across England with my boyfriend to spend time with his family. But already four days in, my priorities are so razor sharp. I'm spending my time with so much efficiency 
with in a way that's going to impact my real life and the life that I'm working to create because I filled out this monthly reset on December 1st. It's already transformed the last four days of this month. As you'll see on the template, it says reset, realign, reclaim, and reignite. So if you're feeling like a little drabness in your life, if you've lost your spark, if you're feeling a little directionless, this free monthly reset template and the videos I come out with every month is going to reignite that spark in you because you're gonna figure out what you should be doing, how you should be spending your time and how those things feed into your goals and the bigger dreams that you have for your life. So let's dive into doing a monthly reset together. I'll walk you through the template, which of course will serve as like agenda or a structure for this video. So step one, create your free Notion account at notion.so. It's completely free. You don't have to have any of the paid ones. Click the link in my description for the monthly reset. And then you're going to go to these three dots in the corner and there will be a duplicate option. Obviously I already have this, so it's not giving me that option anymore. And then this will be saved into your Notion templates, which can be found on the left-hand side column. Once you duplicate it, as it says right here, use this template, select duplicate, then you can change everything around and it's only going to affect your, your document. So you can write everything and it's completely confidential. No one's going to see anything except for you. I do have a little bit of information here about my dream designer notion template. It will guide you through how to reinvent yourself in 12 weeks. It's super, super powerful. Like if you love this template, if you love using it, Using, using the dream designer notion template is kind of like the next step. It will help you break down really big goals into tangible action steps and how to actually change your mindsets and your actions for achieving the goals that you set in three months. You know, there's this book, the 12 week year, and the, the whole premise of the book is that you can do what it takes some people to do in 12 months. You can do it in 12 weeks and be a completely different person by the end of three months. And so that's what the Dream Designer Notion template guides you through. It's super multi-level. I will have a video coming about it this month, sometime this month. So look out for that. But the monthly reset is kind of like part one. I do have a little glossary here of just like when I say these terms like dream, goal, align action steps, intention, best self, like this is what it means. So a dream is what you are working towards. A lot of people use language like goals, a goal is what you're working towards, but truly what you want is a dream because if it doesn't have a plan or if it doesn't have tangible action steps or if it doesn't have a timeline, it's just a dream. A goal is based around your growth and it supports your dream. So if your dream, for example, is to move to London, your goal is to learn the requirements needed to move abroad. That is centered around your action. It's centered around your growth and your development so that you can achieve that dream that you want. Aligned action steps are just the next movements needed, big or small, to make that happen. For example, here, block out Tuesdays at 7 p.m. to research moving abroad. These are, these are the action steps. These are how you're changing so that you can create a different kind of life for yourself because old ways won't open new doors. So if you want new doors opened to you, you have to try something new. Your movements actually have to be different. And then intention slash best self. So intentions are lighthearted. It's just what you want. It's it's maybe like how, what emotion you want to feel. This is really powerful, um, especially in the dream designer notion template, but it's just kind of like, you know, I intend on seeing my family more, or I intend on FaceTiming my friends more. You don't really have an action plan. Like maybe they're smaller action steps that don't really require, require multi-level thought. I do have in here um, a little playlist. I made this playlist for the Dream Designer Notion template, so it's also in there, but I figured I might as well give it to the people who are doing the incredible monthly resets as well. And I just like it. It just sets a vibe. Sorry if it's not your style, but it's very much my style. And it's just allows you to focus, zero in on the template, eliminate external experiences and distractions and just zero in and focus in here. I do have a little section for quotes or affirmations either for December or ones that you really liked from November just up here again to add good vibes to the whole experience. 
actually I really recommend sitting down, lighting a candle, getting your favorite beverage, whether it's wine or coffee or matcha or whatever you love to drink, sitting down, lighting candles, make it a vibe, make it cozy. I'm sitting in this like really cozy, you can't really see it at all, antique chair right now. And just make it a vibe, make it a little date with yourself, your monthly resets. That's why I have things like the playlist and like the words of affirmations here on the side because it's just so nice to give yourself that time. And you don't need a ton of time, like 30 minutes tops. I mean, I, I love spending an hour. I love really going in deep, but it doesn't have to be a whole ordeal. You'll notice I like using these little toggles because sometimes seeing like everything laid out at once can be overwhelming. So I have the monthly reset broken up into two sections, your reflection on the month that just finished and the month that has just started. So let's dive into last month reflection. I like having little affirmations listed everywhere. So I have a little space for that, but you can change the affirmation for something that aligns more with you and where you're at in life. And then I like to write down the goals that I had set for November. And maybe this remains empty for you, but then you do this section next month because you have now done a monthly reset. So you have goals set for December. And then on January, you would put in here the goals that you set and then check off the ones that you have achieved. Um, so thankfully I achieved a lot of my goals. A couple of them I did not, like sell two, three months private coaching spots. And then I put here in parentheses, I didn't do it, but I honestly didn't try. I didn't like, I didn't try. I didn't even talk about it. So not really a problem. And my total revenue goal, I didn't hit that for the month either. But also when I look at myself and my, my actions, I didn't really try to do that either. So um, you can't you can't beat yourself up if you didn't do what uh, your what didn't align with your actions, which is another reason why I love doing these monthly resets because it makes you feel less like a failure. Like when you really reflect and analyze on things, it would be so easy for me to be like, oh, I didn't sell like two spots of private coaching. Like, oh my gosh, I'm such a loser. This is never going to work. But when I actually reflect, then I realize, well, it's not that you're a loser. It's that you just didn't do the actions necessary and that takes a ton of the weight off. I have a section here about fave products and obsessions from the month and this could just be, this could be literally anything that you want it to be, but I'll walk you through mine. So I have a brand called Trades of Hope. We sell ethically made fashion and home decor as a vehicle to create opportunities for women to rise out of poverty around the world. And so I am going to include my two most worn Trades of Hope designs. So the first most worn Trades of Hope design that I wore in November are the ones that I'm wearing right now. These are the Dolly earrings. They're absolutely beautiful. Like these little organically shaped stud earrings with inlaid crystals. I absolutely love them. They're made by women who are rescued from brothels in East Asia. And so I just love that something so beautiful, something I wear every day is helping women who were exploited and finding new seasons of hope and like just things like a lot of these women are sold into exploitation by family members, which is absolutely insane. And when they create our jewelry, they say things like, for the first time in my life, I can tell people what I do for a living. For the first time in my life, I can tell people like what my job is and I love it and I'm good at it and people are so impressed. And it's just little things like that we don't think of that really just make me so proud to wear these earrings and make me so proud of Trades Folk and makes me so proud to just partner with these women because they're absolutely incredible. The other most worn Trades of Hope design I don't have with me because I am traveling right now. It's back in my flat in London, but is the Raven belt bag. It's a beautiful leather crossbody belt bag. Obviously very on trend right now. It's so, so good. I have both of these items linked below. Another product that I really, really love that I, I don't have with me is the Quince cashmere jumper dress. It's this turtleneck sweater dress, which is so stunning. I love Quince because they have really affordable cashmere pieces and they are a more ethical brand, not fast fashion. They don't have crazy markups on their products. So absolutely love that. I'm going to put a little like video photo of me wearing it because it's so, so cute. Perfect for winter. I like wearing it with some boots. It gives me this like um, Julia Roberts, late nineties vibes, pretty woman vibes. Love it. Okay. The next product that I've been obsessing over is the Beauty Pie Eye Genius Cream. I have it on right now under my makeup. It's basically like, it is a magic cream. It is a genius cream. It You put it on and you're thinking like, oh, this is just another concealer. Like it's just a concealer. 
but then you wait two minutes and then it's like your eyes are lifted. It's your bags are gone, eyes are lifted. Did you have plastic surgery in 10 minutes? Kind of with the eye genius, seriously. And I'm someone who gets kind of insecure about my under eyes because even when I'm not tired, I just have like deep inset under eyes. Game changer. It's gonna be really great too. Like if you just don't wanna wear a lot of makeup that day or you're just going out in the morning or something like that, but you wanna look more awake, just pat this under your eye. It's incredible. There's also like only two colors. And so I was like, how is this gonna work? There's one for light skin and one for dark skin. So I'm like, is it even gonna match? But it is a genius and it just soaks into your skin. Incredible. Next favorite product on the list are the Dior Lip Tint. In, um, I have this in 541 and the Dior Lip Oil that I have in 012. This is the lip combo that I have on right now. It's just a beautiful red for the holidays. And the lip tint is really, it feels like you're not wearing anything, honestly. And I know a lot of people say that the Dior Lip Oil is overrated. And like, it is just an oil, but it's the applicator, you guys. Like, if you're looking for a good Christmas gift for yourself or someone else, you pay for the applicator. It's just so big and juicy. And I know that's what I'm paying for. So as long as you know that, then it's okay. Next item on the list is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. Mine's dirty because I've been bringing it across, uh, across England. It's so, so good. It's like, per not only does it make your hair feel really soft and my hair air dries really nice when I spray this on, but it smells amazing. It's like perfu perfume for your hair. It's so good, highly recommend. The next favorite product or obsession for the month has been the book, The Four Agreements. It's so good. I have been reading it on my Kindle and it took me a second to get into. The first chapter, I was like, what am I really reading? It was feeling a little woo woo for me, but then you keep reading and it is the most applicable book in life. That's all I'm gonna say. Just my Kindle in general is amazing. I love it so much. Actually this month, I broke my Kindle uh, and it was a gift from Tom. He gave it to me when we were traveling back and forth to see each other during the pandemic and we followed all the rules, but there was like a lot of testing and the tests were like hundreds of dollars, like $200 or something like that. And at the time I was the only one able to come see him. There was a travel ban in the US so he couldn't even come to see me. And so I was just paying hundreds of dollars for these tests and he was so sweet. He was like, you're paying so much extra to come see me. And so he got me a Kindle and it was like my favorite present ever and I broke it. Um, but like the amazing man he is, he got me a new one and then I had it within, within days. So it's kind of my early Christmas present from him, but in the case, <laughs> the case because my other Kindle was not in a case when I broke it. So he was very kind. He wasn't mean to, or rude to me at all. And uh, just got me another one. So that, the Kindle in general, highly recommend a Kindle for yourself or as a gift for someone. Okay, next item on the list is the Mango Coat with Removable Faux Fur. I have this coat, it was actually given to me and I wore it to Paris. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. And it's such, it's the most perfectly fitted coat ever. It's tailored in so nicely and it has this removable fur collar. It's just great when you want to feel extra, the fur collar, and it genuinely kept me so warm when we were in Paris. But also if you take off, it's like a completely different jacket. It's like, it's like two jacket, two coats for the price of one. And then I did get an antiques brooch at the Covent Garden Antique Market in London, which you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram. And that whole combination just gave me so much life this, this month. I was really happy about that. Next obsession is just YouTube, YouTube in general. I am on my YouTube, not grind. I'm just, I'm just in my YouTube era. I love it. I'm so over meta. I hate meta. I hate Instagram. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more why about that as a part of my reflection, but I just... I'm over it and this is where I want to live now so hence the new YouTube series and then London over Paris so I just posted a Paris vlog and it was amazing and I'm so grateful I got to go to Paris and there's no hate to Paris but London's a thousand times better I talk about this towards the end of the one of my Paris vlog when I'm back in London so you can go watch that but London over Paris I will die on that hill of course you know all of my favorites and my obsessions are linked in the description for you also, I don't know if I really said this, but 10% of all of my like affiliate link commission, I donate towards CARE, which is a CARE International, which is an organization, a nonprofit organization that focuses on gender equality globally in an efforts to alleviate global poverty because we will never fix global poverty if we do not fix gender inequality. So I just wanna let you know that. Let's move on to key lessons and takeaways. So these are just a few things that I've learned in November. 
one, you're leaving money on the table by overthinking. I did a post about this on Instagram. Um, it's so important to measure the consistency of your actions, not the public response to them. I overthink, which keeps me from posting, which keeps me from living the life that I want to lead. And there's more about this on, in, on Instagram, but that's one of, one of my takeaways. Um, you'll also see when I go through my money date section down here below that posting more does actually result in follower growth, not on Instagram, but on TikTok and on YouTube. Lastly, I've realized like I am in my Instagram flop era. Nobody likes any of my posts. I have not had this low number of likes since 2015 when I literally joined Instagram or 2010 when I, yeah, 2010 when I joined Instagram. I've never had such low likes, but, but what's important to realize here is that I also have never made more money from Instagram. And what I take away from that is likes are not equal to money. So if you have a low, if you have a small Instagram account, or if you, you feel like your posts are flopping and you feel like it's embarrassing, you can still sell. You still can build a business. You do not need tens of thousands of followers to make thousands of dollars. And I know I do have tens of thousands of followers, but they are not seeing my posts, so just trust me. I have a section here for core memories because I think it is very important to reflect on what was important that happened the month before. Um, so my niece had her first birthday and I celebrated with her before I left to come back here to London. So that was really great. I met up with one of my first coaching clients for a Saturday in London. That was so fun. Lindsay, actually, she just hired me again and we are going to have an in-person coaching session in London this month. I'm very excited about that. Next core memories, I had a date night with Tom where we went to Covent Garden and there were Christmas lights and we ate crepes for dinner and it was really quintessential Christmas London time date really loved that. Of course, my Paris trip with Kaylin was a core memory. I got a brand partnership with Edgerton House Hotel. That was fantastic. And then really just, I really enjoyed spending this last week with Tom and his family and it's been incredible. Okay, last part of this section is quotes or ideas I'm carrying with me into next month. So one quote that I, that's honestly, I've been carrying with me since June is you gain confidence from the highs and you gain wisdom from the lows. So also if you're just struggling right now and you're feeling like no one's liking my posts, no one's buying from me, no one's whatever, you gain wisdom from the lows. Nothing is wasted. So keep that perspective. You have things to reap right now. It might not be what you envisioned or what you intended, but you gain wisdom from the lows. Also, I saw a TikTok video the other day and it was a woman asking, if you landed on your Instagram profile or your TikTok profile, would you follow you? That was a huge slap across the face because I thought, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And I think we all think, oh yeah, I create the content that I want to see. But do we, do we really? Like the absolute most entertaining, most value-driven content, really? It really was a wake-up call for me. Like, would I follow me? Maybe, but maybe not. And you, I want that to be a full body. Yeah, duh, of course I would follow me. So I'm definitely gonna carry that with me into December. Next, we're gonna go into the money date section, which is a drop down within the last month reflection section. I have removed my financial numbers from here. I filled this all out, screenshotted it, and then deleted it, and I'm gonna add it back in. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I don't feel comfortable at this point sharing like all of my financial numbers. I do share some things like on Instagram, and I know I'll do more videos in the future, but just like, you know, Posting something online is like giving someone a blank check and I don't know everyone who who follows these videos and I don't even really have a community that I really have built up yet here on YouTube. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like we're there yet. <laughs> I don't feel like we have that relationship yet, but I wanna grow into that. Um, and I know at some point I will share more financial numbers. It's just, we gotta work our way up to that. We're like on our first date, you know, maybe fourth date, so. I deleted that, but I will walk you through the section so that you can fill it out on your own. So the first part that you're gonna to jump to is the expenses. And I did keep this in here because it's not that big of a deal. Um, you're going to write out all of the different expenses. This could be for your personal life or it could be for your business. This is obviously more set up for a business, um, but you can use it for whatever you'd like. And then different revenue streams. So these are kind of my different revenue streams for my Elizabeth Heishkins Co brand that's what I'm tracking here and then you would put your total profits your total well you'd put in your total revenue your total expenses and then your total profits for the month up here and then down here these this is kind of like business stats so this is looking at the 
you know, last months, like whatever you fill out on the right hand side will go into the left hand side in January. I like to put my Instagram, I put my Instagram follower count as of November 1st, TikTok followers as of November 1st, YouTube subscribers as of November 1st, the number of new Instagram posts I posted in October, TikTok posts new in October, and then YouTube videos, I did one full length video and then two shorts, total revenue for the month, total profit for the month. And then I do the same thing as of December 1st. So I'm analyzing November, all the same thing. And you'll actually see that I'm in the green for a lot of things. I did hit my goal for new Instagram posts in November on Instagram. It's still hemorrhaged 200, 200 followers, but that's just meta. That's just Instagram, honestly. Um, and I, I posted more on TikTok and more on YouTube in November and my di I did see those followers and subscribers go up. So why do I do this? I like to see that my actions are reaping a reward, which is why I like putting two months next to each other to show that growth and show that difference. So again, the numbers here on the right hand side will go over here on my January monthly reset template doc, whatever. And then my numbers as of January 1st, analyzing December will go here. I just like having the side by side for comparison. It shows you that things are working, things are growing, and it's so easy to be like, oh, nothing I do ever works, or it's just not, you know, well, well, I'm just spinning in circles. But you'll see like, even if the growth is small, it's still happening. And then I have down here December business goals. So the number of new Instagram posts I want, number of new TikTok posts, number of, number of new YouTube videos I want, and then my total revenue goal. And you know, tracking how many new posts you make is so important because how many new followers or subscri subscribers you get is not in your control, but how many times you post, your consistency, what kind of content you're creating, those things are in your control. And that's why like, if you go back up to my glossary, goals are centered and action steps are centered around you and what you can do, not external forces or external pressures or external excuses. We just don't have time for that. We have to focus on what we can't control. And that is the November last month reflection. Now let's look at the this month section. So I have a little affirmation here again, but you can change it. Something that aligns more with you. I'll probably change it each month because we're growing and evolving each month. First step is writing down your goals and intentions. So again, areas of growth for you, action steps for you, or just intentions. Intentions are a little less serious because they, they're just a little bit smaller. So as you can see per the directions here, I want you to brain dump all your goals. As you can see, I have a lot into each of these sections and then highlight two to three in each category that you want to focus on for the month. And this is where the dream designer notion template comes in because you can take these things and if you plug them into the dream designer notion template, it gives you a structure to actually achieve your goals, break down big goals, big dreams into actionable steps and make it less overwhelming and more actionable and more doable, more attainable, even among all of the everyday life that you still have going on and responsibilities you still have going on. There's also psychologically proven methods in the Dream Designer Notion template that's gonna help you actually stick to the goals and not give up after like a few days or a couple weeks. So I did this, I'm not really gonna go through all of them, but I'll just touch on a few of them to give you some examples. You'll see some things that are kind of like, crossed out because there are some secret projects coming or, you know, I did hide some financial information, but you would just obviously fill it out as is. So things like under financial goals, I have my two businesses and the financial goals that I want us to hit in December. Um, something that I'm saving up for, amount of money I want in my savings. I have to pay these stupid tax things that I'm very upset about, but there you go. Career goals. I want to launch my new website with new product sales pages. That is coming in December. And this is the thing, actually, I know I said before, doing this on November 1st radically changed my first four days of the month. And they truly, truly did. I have been working like crazy on this website. And I would not have done that if I hadn't filled this out. I wouldn't have realized how much of a priority it is to me if I didn't fill out the monthly reset template, which is why I really encourage you to do so. Um, and it's going to be done probably this week because I refocused, realigned, 
and reignited that priority to me. Obviously you can pause this video and read through all of them, but just like little things like, I have like a lump in my breast that is fine, it's benign, but I need to get it checked every so often. So I just have that in there. I need my annual skin checkup, like, female stuff, just boring stuff, but things that I, that really matter. In community goals, this could be like friendships, relationships, family, but like my friend Elise has been really convincing me to get on Bumble BFF because she's had great experiences there and I think she's worried about me not having a lot of friends, so I don't have a lot of friends. So um, just things like that. Certain people I want to call and connect with. Fun and play experiences. This is really important for me because I can be a really serious person and take things a little bit too seriously, take life a little bit too seriously. So there are just things that I'm gonna do, um, you know, just around London and stuff like that, that I just, that seem little that I could do maybe in a few months, but like, I don't wanna put off my life. I don't wanna put off these fun experiences. You know, we can, we, we will always do that, put off the fun things. So I really wanna prioritize them and do them this month. Self-care, obviously you can put mental health under health goals as well. So I have some meditation and some EFT things that I want to get more consistent with. And that is really the set goals and intentions. I really encourage you to brain dump everything, but then only choose two to three that you're really gonna focus on. If you accomplish more than two to three, that's fine. But if you have too many things planned or going on, you're just going to self-sabotage yourself and not probably not do any of them or do far fewer than you're capable of doing. Really focusing on two to three. I mean, look at all these sections. Three in each of them is a ton of goals for one month, which is why I created the Dream Designer Notion template because it will actually help you organize and how to juggle and do things really efficiently, multiple things really efficiently. But brain dump everything so you don't forget what you want, but then just remember like not everything has to happen all at once. Things can happen over one, two, three, four, five, six months, a year even. Um, but I just like brain dumping everything so that I don't forget. Now let's move to the daily aligned action tracker. So this is where this chaos <laughs> finally becomes a part of your day to day. This is a small piece of the dream designer notion template that I've given you, but trust me, this is only a small sliver of the organization and the optimization that happens in the dream designer notion template. But I do have three um, trackers here, or I have four trackers here for you, one for each week of the month. You just pop in what you want to do consistently multiple times a week here. You put in how many times a week you want to have it done. And then there's boxes for every day of the week to check off as you go. So as you see, like, I am hitting my posting goals. I am hitting my, um, like supporting my Voxer clients, selling on my Instagram stories, calling out. I have calling out the superpower in someone. Like I really love just affirming the good and, and the unique qualities that I see in people. Um, so yeah, this is really how you make sure that your actions are aligning in bringing about the life that you actually wanna create and whatnot. And then, yeah, there's obviously one for each week of the month. And that is the monthly reset template for you. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you're filling this out and you're like, I don't really know how to answer this or I don't really know how to fill out X, Y, Z. Leave a comment, I will get back to you on it. And of course, this is always available. I will put it in the description of every monthly reset video in the future. And I hope you really use this tool because it has been game changing for me. I know that it will be for you as well. Let me know if you have any thoughts or takeaways. I cannot wait to connect with you on this, especially if you are an ambitious type A kind of control freak girly like me, you are going to love this. Sending you so much love, confidence, moxie, and gumption for your December and I will see you back here next week for another video, but also back in the beginning of January for our next monthly reset video. Bye.